Welcome to the Rusted Garden Homestead. This is the second video in my series on planting a fall garden. In the first video, which I will link, we planted uh, peas and carrots. Next crops that I like to get in are beets and turnips or similar root crops. These are the two things that I like to grow because um, I just really eat them, are beets and purple top turnips. If you're not familiar with turnips, they're really easy to grow. I take half turnips, half potatoes. It makes a wonderful mashed potato and turnip. It's they're just delicious. You can also roast them, you can grill them, you can do all kinds of things with them. So the whole key for beets and turnips and the fall garden is remembering they can take a frost. So it is August, soil temperatures easily 80 or 90 degrees. Um, this is actually probably hotter, maybe even closer to 100. The sun is beating down. If you put in a lot of your cool crops now, when the soil temps 90 degrees, the days are in the upper 80s and 90s, sometimes those plants grow too quickly, so they're not quite ready. However, the beets can be put in now, they will enjoy the heat, they will germinate, same with the turnips, and then as those cooler temperatures come, they're gonna do really well. And I like trying to get a jump on these crops in August so that I get a full harvest before a really heavy freeze comes. This is shade cloth. It reduces the temperature down there by a good 10 or 15 degrees. You can use shade cloth actually to help your tomatoes and peppers when you're in that 90, 100 degree temperature. That will help keep the tomatoes and peppers setting fruit and doing okay. You can also use it for cool weather crops. Here in August, the soil temperature has cooled down and I really wanna explain this. So cool weather crops like 50, 60 degree soil temperature. They like 70 degree days, 60 degree days, maybe a little bit here and there in the 80s, but they like the cool weather. The reason you can't grow your cool weather crops in the summer is they're just not gonna de develop what we want. Your lettuces, your spinach may just grow a couple of leaves, then they set out a flower stalk and try and create seed. It's the cool weather that keeps these crops growing slow and steady and that's how you get the delicious uh, greens. So if we put spinach in now, this is spinach, it's under shade cloth, if we put it out in the heat, you're going to get a couple of leaves then a flower stalk. So we're going to time the spinach and these leafy greens later in August when they germinate quickly because the soil's a little bit warm but I have that cool temperature starting to roll in. It can be a little bit confusing. Like these are radishes that I put in three weeks ago. There are no radish bulbs. Great green growth but even with the shade cloth just the day temperatures are too warm and I'm not getting the radish bulbs. So it was a little bit too early for these. Perfect for peas. Peas you want them to get growing. You can find that link in the next video or you can find that link in the first video of the series, uh, Fall Gardening. I will link that in the video description. Here are some of the beets that I put in about two or three weeks ago, and they've all germinated, and that's what we're trying to do with the beets. They do better with the heat, with that 80, 90 degree temperature. So we can't put all the cool weather crops out now, because they're just not gonna develop right. That warmth of the soil is gonna make them just wanna go from germinating to setting out flowers and doing stuff like that. So you have time for the fall garden. It's just a matter of getting the timing right. And by putting the shade cloth here, this is an experiment. The peas are doing well, the spinach, the lettuce is actually doing okay, and I have carrots going in the beets. So you can use shade cloth to bring the temperature down and maybe start your fall crop sooner. The reason you would want to do that, if you're in a a gardening zone, I'm in Maryland zone 7, so I have a pretty good long season, where the frost and the freeze comes really quickly, you'd want to get your cool weather crops started earlier, the shade cloth would help you out, and then you're going to get a beautiful harvest before that hard freeze comes in. This is just a great way to get things started sooner, and then you get more to your table. Heavy freeze, I define as, you know, in the 20s, upper 20s, several hours overnight, consecutive nights, that's when you start getting those heavier freezes, that can damage your plants. But as for just frost, a little bit here and there, an hour or so, these plants can take it. Remember that. If you're in a zone, I'm in Maryland zone 7, where it's in the upper 90s, you may have to wait a couple weeks before you can do this, but you can follow this series along and adjust accordingly. So the beets are good to go into here, the turnips are good to go into here. If you have compost, you'd put down one or two inches of compost, work it into the top couple inches of soil. A lot of people don't have that. So I just use any organic granular fertilizer. Um, as long as N, P, and K is represented, you're perfectly fine. And then I just scatter it in just like that. There's a lot of nutrients in here already from everything that you did 
during the spring and during the summer. We will water these in with a water soluble fertilizer. Please subscribe, I'll show you how to take care of these plants. But for the first step, organic granular, just like you saw it, we'll mix it in. This will slowly feed the plants over the next several months. So next I'm going to take out the weeds, loosen this up, and then I put in finger holes. Maybe put beets maybe this far apart, um, purple top turnips a little bit more. You don't need to be exact. Uh, finger holes will be about a quarter of an inch to half an inch. These plants will do really well. You'll like growing these types of root crops for a fall garden. All right, let me set this up. One of the keys for your fall garden is really trying to time it right so the heat of August doesn't really accelerate the growth of your plants and then instead of producing roots or the crops you want, they produce flowers. So for beets, just so you can see, these are beets that I planted in the spring. Um, then I did a second wave around June. This is what's left from June. And you can see the different sizes, general spacing. I don't over worry about spacing. Um, it's kind of overrated. You just need a good space. So finger hole, finger hole. Here's a pack of seeds so you can get an idea of what the spacing's like. You just don't have to be exact. Each hole has a bead in there. I did some of the golden Detroits and some of the standard delicious dark red beets. A lot of people don't know, your beet seeds are actually a pod, so there are multiple beet seeds in there. You can thin them down to one, but I've done some experimenting where you can leave two beets coming up in a hole. They'll just push, push each other to the side, and then you can harvest one and then let the other one get larger. So I'm doing two rows of the beets right down there. They've already been seeded. And the purple top turnips, uh, their seeds are small. They're like broccoli, cabbage, kale. They're all kind of related. And I'm putting in two seeds per hole. If a third one falls in, that's fine. I will keep two seeds per hole. And again, just so you can see the spacing, something like that. Nothing fancy. Don't over worry about the depth. But the beets are just beautiful. In the heat of July, you can see there's not many leaves on here. They all got beat down. But as it's starting to cool a little bit, the greenery is coming back. The beets will continue to grow a little bit. They're ready, really ready to be picked, but I also eat beet greens. Beets are a great crop. So once we have that set up, we're just gonna cover the seeds. Water them in well today, and you wanna really water these, especially with the heat of August, every other day. You just don't want this top of the soil to dry out. And that's gonna be the hardest thing right now, is kind of dealing with the 90 degree temperatures and the days of full sun. But these are good to go. If you wanted to, you could put some shade cloth over here. That will keep the temperature around here 10 or 15 degrees cooler. And that will really allow you to start these cool weather crops sooner, especially if you're in the southern states. So first video, peas and carrots. They like the heat to kind of get started. Beets, turnips, they can enjoy the heat too also to get started, but they, they're pretty resilient, can manage the higher temperatures. So that's usually the next wave of crops that I get in. Please subscribe and follow because I will be planting up an entire fall garden. Next, we're gonna be doing some herbs like dill. A lot of people don't know, dill can actually take some of a frost, but we're gonna really transform my summer garden over to a fall garden over the next three, four, five weeks. Thanks for watching. Please check out my seed shop at therustedgarden.com and take notes. Maybe if you start your fall crops too early next year, you just kind of extend it by a week or two. Again, thanks for watching.